As you just seen, we got this bed in here in the shop. Still just a, a little bit wet, but that'll be fine. Um, what we're first to start doing is we're gonna take this DA sander and we're gonna sand everywhere that we can with a DA. Uh, but I know I'm gonna have to do a lot of hand sanding also, uh, which I'm fine with that. Um, in order to get a nice result out of this, a good result, uh, you need to prep this stuff really good and. That requires you sanding everything. Uh, again, what we're using is 180 grit. That's what we're going to go with. Um, I have got a, as you can see here, I've got a whole roll of this. So that's what we're going to use. We're going to sand the whole inside of this. I'm not too concerned about um, undercoating like the body panel on the inside. But I am going to do inside of the wheel wells and the bottom of the, the bed. Um, all of this will be undercoated. Uh, the reason why I'm not too concerned about doing the uh, inside, as you can see, I've still got a little bit of body work to do on these. And um, later down the road, if I ever need to replace that, it won't be no problem replacing it. I won't have to try to spray it down again. 
Uh, one of these I do have to replace. Let me see. This one here. Uh, this one's got to be replaced. This is the passenger side. This is the rear. And you can see it's got a lot of pitting in it. Um, somebody's tried to do something here, but uh, later what I'm going to do is I'll do like I've done my son's truck. I'll just buy a replacement patch panel and I'll cut straight back here uh, around the tail light and then up through here. That way I can replace all of that. Uh, that little bit of body work right there, I can work out. That's just where when we were loading this, we laid it on the side of the trailer and it, it pushed this up and did not crease it. It's just bowled down a little bit, same way as the side right here. So we can get all that out. But anyhow, I'll try to get you set up on a tripod and we'll start sanding this thing. cleaned off sanded as you can see now what we're fixing to do is uh <clears throat> got it scuffed up pretty good <laughs> you can see where i kind of got a little crazy right here and um went a little too too much but uh started lightening up because all you got to do is scuff it up and um anyhow we got it all scuffed up everything so now we're fixing to pull it back into the uh shop lay it down and we're gonna take some self-etching primer yeah. And basically, we're going to primer this whole thing because there's a lot of raw metal spots. So we're going to primer over the whole thing, and uh, then we're going to start getting ready to mask it off. And, and this is the stuff that we're using. Never mind all the newspaper. I did this so I wouldn't make a mess on my table. Uh, but you can see we're using the Raptor liner, and 
I bought two extra uh, jugs of it, uh, quartz, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> uh, but anyhow, I bought two extra ones because we're doing the bottom of the bed and the bottom of the cab. So, yeah. This cost me uh, $197 for all of this. You get the gun and everything. As you can see, the gun's not been put together yet. So, uh, that's pretty straightforward. They do not supply you with the uh, female end that you're going to need to adapt to your air hose. So, you'll have to have one of those. Uh, but they do supply the rest of it. It's pretty, like I said, it's pretty simple. This end, the long tube uh, screws up inside of here, as you can see. And your nozzle, you've got a, uh, a locking uh, nut. You'll screw it inside of the tip here, just like that. Well, you screw it all the way in. Once you get it all the way in, let's see, let me back off this jam nut. Just get it all the way in and back the jam it off again. There you go. And then you'll tighten down that jam nut against that to keep that from coming out. Screw this all the way in. Get it nice and tight. And uh, like I said, you're going to have to get you a, a female uh, to whatever size air hose you're running. Um, and then whenever you're spraying this, you want to spray this at uh, 50 PSI. Uh, we'll take a look at what's inside of the box. Uh, if you order just this kit, minus those extra ones, this is what you're going to get, basically. Uh, you're going to get your measuring cup for your hardener. And plus four bottles of the Raptor liner. We'll go ahead and get all those out. comes with a, a booklet uh, kind of gives you a little bit of instructions in here on on how to use this uh, bring that tab back there and there's your hardener for those four right there and that's all that's in the box um, what you're gonna do when you mix this is you'll take a, your cap off of here and you'll take your measuring cup. Let's see. It shows right there. I don't know how well you can see that. There you go. Eight fluid ounces. You're going to fill that up to that line. It's eight ounces. And you're going to pour it inside of one of these uh, jars here. Um, so we've got enough. There's 32 ounces here. That gives you enough for those four. And then I've also got um, two more for the extra two that I ordered. So let me get this mixed up and we're fixing to get ready to get you on a tripod here. We're going to start shooting this. I didn't tape off much because I want the whole underside of this shot. The only thing I taped off is just the trim around the uh, wheel wells. That's also going to come off later on. I only taped it because I didn't want to uh, spray the screw hose. So let me get this mixed up and we'll come back.
All right, as you can see, we got the timer going for one hour. As you've seen in the video, we got the whole thing sprayed. We got one full coat on the whole thing. And yes, I know, there's a good size dent right there, but golly. It'll be fine. <laughs> but I did get one good full coat on the whole thing. I tilted the bed backwards a little bit so I could get that very bottom right there. Um, I do have ventilation in here. Uh, if you'll see here, I had my exhaust fan going. I've got it shut off now, but all I do is swap that. Anyhow, I'm gonna turn it back on and I'm gonna step out of here for an hour. And we're gonna come back, as you've seen, that was three jars that we used. Um, and I got the whole thing covered, a nice coat. Uh, we'll come back after an hour and we're gonna take and put the last bottle on it, the fourth bottle, should I say. And we're just gonna we're gonna mist over the whole thing from a distance. That way, it all looks uniform. Uh, you won't see all the streaks inside of it. So, let me get this. Uh, well, I guess we'll just catch y'all back in an hour. Wow. Okay, guys. I'm sorry for making y'all wait that long, but goodness, you know, an hour kind of drug by. But anyhow, we're fixing to spread this. Uh, fourth bottle on here and what we're going to do like i said is we're going to mist over the whole thing to kind of make this whole thing uniform uh like right now you can see some spots that are darker than others uh so this is going to take care of that it'll make it all like i said it'll look uniform so let me get you on a tripod uh, i'll get this mixed up and i'll kick you back on There you go as you can see we did that final coat i know it's kind of hard to see in here but i'll get some more light once i get it outside flipped upside down 
that final coat for a mist over the whole thing actually really tied this thing together. Uh, it looks all uniform together. Uh, I am extremely happy with how this has turned out so far. Uh, as you can see the inside of the fender well, turned out great. I'm digging it. So, turned out really, really awesome. Let me get this thing uh, flipped upside down. We'll get it outside inside the sunlight and hopefully I can get a better uh, video for you. Now that we've got it outside, you can actually see how well this has actually turned out. Love it. Looks really, really good. Uh, turned, turned out amazing. Like I said, you can see everything's, uh, you know, blended together uniform now. So now we'll let this cure. I'm just going to let it sit out here for uh, probably a few days and just let it bake. Um, I live in Missouri, so it gets pretty hot here. But um, this hut, this black is just going to make it attract more heat. So um, I'll let it cure for 24 hours and then I'll turn the bed back over.
All right, guys, in order to clean your gun out uh, real quick, all I've done is I took some acetone and I put it in this cup, and we're just going to stick this straw down here. We're going to blow it inside of this uh, trash can that I use a lot for painting and stuff like that. You just stick it down in there and just pull your trigger. That's it. Now just clean the outside of the gun and you're good. Alright, here we go guys. Sorry about the fan noise, but hopefully you can still hear me. Uh, went ahead and got the bottom of the cab all sanded down, washed again, and got it all shot. As you can see, it turned out great. Uh, it took me the last two bottles to do the whole undercoat on this one. And you can tell it covered everything, so I'm I'm ecstatic about it. Love how it turned out. Um, it took just about, I would say, probably a bottle and a half to cover the whole thing one good time. And then the rest of the bottle gave me enough to mist over the whole thing to blend it all in. So, like I said, I'm happy how it turned out. Uh, I'll get you some pictures and they'll be on my Facebook and Instagram, stuff like that. So, uh, we're going to end the video here, guys. So, uh, that's how you do that Raptor Liner. God bless you all. Please keep watching. Uh, give the video a like. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. God bless you.